this year to Mark Saibos' return to Toronto, the Swift Institute launched Student Challenge Canada. As the country's brightest learners were asked, how can banks leverage AI and ML in their products and services to improve the lives of customers, enhancing the experience for their clients and communities? And I am delighted to say that we are joined by Yang Xiang and Bella Yang, both from uh, FinTorch, and uh, Nancy Murphy, Program Director at the Swift Institute. Yang, I'll, I'll start with you. Congratulations, of course. Uh, well done on your win. But please do tell us about your proposal to leverage AI and machine learning. Of course. So our solution is an end-to-end -end solution to allow equity researchers to use leverage AI to really help with their work. If you think about it today, for an equity researchers to deliver any report, the amount of paper that they have to go through is immense, mm -hmm. right? What if we can leverage AI to get rid of this course and have them really focus on giving recommendations instead of going through the pages? So that's our solution and end-to-end -end helping with researchers, helping with researching and also helping them with writing. So that's our solution. And uh, Bella, where do you go from here uh, off the back of this win? What's next for you? So previously during the summer, we have been de developing our um, MVP, which is a website that um, publics can go into and search. I think we are ready to take it to the next level in working with financial institutions, um, which uh, thankfully we got a lot of like networking connections here at Cybos, and we wanted to leverage from here and building connection with these companies, um, help them customize their own tool, and then. Um, hopefully um, help them with their day-to-day -day work. Yang, when you look at artificial, uh, artificial intelligence and ML, do you think enough is being made of its potential at the moment? Well, I think right now I am particularly excited about AI is because this is really the early stage of AI. I mm. think the amount of application that's out there is definitely not enough. I think the next unlocking, the next productivity wave is, is, is ahead of us. I think that's, that's the message uh, that I think I believe in. Uh, Bella, talk to us about the collaborative process. How was that and, and what did you take away from the challenge? So the collaborative process of um, us working mm -hmm. together. Um, so Yan and I are friends in U of T and we actually worked a lot during the summer because um, we are all busy. So every single weekend we actually come together and we set up a plan of what we are going to do this weekend. And it was actually, I think a lot of us put dedication and a lot of our effort into it. And then it's quite interesting because um, I'm studying in computer engineering and Yan is from Rotman Business. So it was quite interesting to see the chemistry between like a technical point of view and a business point of view. Yang has taught me a lot about um, business presentation, networking, and I guess me and Jonathan and other um, members from the computer engineering side, um, we are um, helping Yang understanding more about AI technology. So I think it's so nice to work together and I think it's a win-win situation. Nancy, it is always fun to catch up and exciting to see the new talent that's coming through in the industry. Let's talk about the student uh, challenge. We, we chat about it every year, uh, but how important are initiatives like this uh, for the, the future of the financial industry? These initiatives are extremely important. We're tapping into, we're tapping into the brains of the next generation, mm -hmm. tapping into a talent pipeline. Our industry is, a little bit, I want to say, struggling to try to attract really good talent. We have a lot of competition, and having running these these challenges opens the eyes of the students to how exciting our industry is and what is going on. And really, so many of them come to me and say, "I'd love to love, love to work." I didn't know that it's as innovative as as it is. So I think it's it's, it's an amazing, you know, program. I, I this is the eighth year that I've been running it, and each year I can't tell you the students say, "Oh." This bank came up to me, this bank, or I've made connections with banks. It's really important that we keep this up and keep up this pipeline to this next generation. Mm -hmm. And Nancy, it is worth highlighting that the quality of the entrance was so high. They're only undergraduate students. I mean, <laughs> I'm impressed. I'll leave some for the rest of us. Uh, it, what do you think about uh, tomorrow's programmers, fintechs, and bankers? Uh, how, are they, how do they manage to work at such a high level at this age from what you've seen? Um, it is really incredible that this year, as I said, all undergraduate students, the level, I, I only have to attribute it to, you know, certainly the lower years, your elementary and primary years, those kids are already be given PCs, you know, in, in mm -hmm. at six and seven or eight. And so certainly by the time they get to university, they are 
already thinking about systems designs and connectivities and, and making their own apps. And so um, it's mind blowing really for me to think of, we used to have, when we first started running this, it was PhD students. When we ran the student challenge in Toronto 2017, the majority of our entrants were PhD students. And this year we're getting undergrads with equal to or higher uh, caliber and complexity and developed systems. So, um, so impressive. Well, I can only impressive. say on behalf of everyone over 30, we are incredibly <laughs> jealous of your talent and indeed potential. Donnie, I don't know who you're talking about. I'm 18. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I'm jealous of all of your potential. Uh, guys, congratulations again. That's Yang Zhang and Bella Yang, both from FinTorch, uh, and of course, Nancy Murphy, Program Director at the yeah. Swift Institute. Thank you, congratulations, and enjoy Thank the you. final few hours that we have here Thank at Cybos 2023. Thank you so much. Thank you.